Hey everybody, the Bong is here, ready to give you a brand new Let's Play. Clockwork Aquario. This was a game that was supposed to be an arcade title that uh, Westone did. You know, the same people that did the Wonder Boy games, among others. Uh, but the game never got released. And it never got released for probably like 30 years since it started development. And uh, I guess thanks to like... Ainen Games and Strictly Limited Games, uh, the game did get released. So, here we go. We can finally check it out. Uh, so it has, like, multiple modes. Training mode only goes to, like, stage 2, but you have unlimited credits. There is an arcade mode, but you have to beat the game first. So, we'll just do it on easy mode. So that we can have, like... Tons of credits to our disposal. Alright, options are just mostly for resolution, filters, shaders, and stuff. Let's not worry about that. <coughs> Alright, start the game. You could tell it was by the same people that did Wonder Boy. I mean, look at these graphics. I'm gonna turn that down a little bit, it's a bit loud. So yeah, like, the original team that, uh, started this game also helped out with, uh, this re-release. So, this is a, uh, obviously a 2D platformer. Most of the draws towards, um, grabbing enemies and throwing them. Or, you know, just jumping on them or jumping under them and get lots of score. There are balloons, but they don't exactly hurt you, but you can keep jumping on them for extra score. Oh, anglerfish. Doesn't look too happy to see me. There you go. So each stage has like a uh, mid bosses as well. I can't guarantee I'm gonna like beat the game in like uh, nine credits, but I'll certainly give it a try. Oh yeah, you could throw it through balloons and you get more of them in a row. Ow! Well, I lost a bit of... I lost my shoes and stuff and now I'm one hit from death. Let's see if I can find a star. Uh, no such luck. Alright, I guess I'll face the boss. Ah! Oh. Got Well, you can jump on bosses, too. Honestly, it's a much easier way to fight this boss. Dead. Man, look at all this score you get. <laughs> Alright, round two. I don't know how many levels there are, because I only went as far as level two and I stopped playing. Oh, you can just walk on the rainbows too. Oh, I just noticed you can throw straight down. And sometimes you get power-ups that let you throw stars. And I got, got an extra life, too. That's just what I need. So that's what those uh, pink gems are for. Help you get an extra life. Be 
beautiful. Okay, you gotta hit the boss like this. It looks like it's struggling to get the little enemies out. Does it hurt? <laughs> oh! Okay, good. I was able to get some extra health. It is good you could just, like, hit enemies with your head and it damages them instead of damaging you. It's kind of refreshing, to be honest. Whoa! I wasn't ready for that. Let me just summon more at will. I would like to get some more health before I uh, face the boss. Don't know I would have got it from that balloon. Ah! That's a cheap shot if there ever was one. The game knows it too. Oh! Giant crab! Oh wow! I just noticed my iframes are not that high. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Already? Uh, sometimes you can jump on the pincers, and then sometimes you can't. Hitboxes for the spikes themselves are not that decipherable. Hey, I got the star power. Too bad the boss is already beaten. So I had to use up one credit. Eight more to go. I mean, it's not that bad, considering, you know, we're at stage three already. So maybe there's like four or five levels. And then we'll be okay. I would have liked to have just played it on arcade mode, but the game doesn't let you until you beat it at least once. Okay, it spits three fireballs and then it's done. Ah, uh, speaking of spitting fireballs... Thank you for giving me the freedom that is rightfully mine. Oh, you could just do that. I didn't know that was a thing. You could bounce it off a balloon and it just comes back to you and you can pick it up again. What? Are you kidding me? Uh, collision detection much? Okay, you can hold down and jump and just do it Contra style. That's good to know. seem to be many bottomless pits at least. Alright, what's this? Oh! There's the enemy. I wonder if you can just keep damaging the enemy when it's already blue. 
And get that clam while it's blue. I don't think it should be in her best interest to look up what a blue clam is. It probably doesn't exist, and I hope it never does. There are some things that should just be locked away forever, and that's one of them. It should never be uttered ever again. Out loud. Or even silently. Oh, nice, I got the thousand points. Too bad it's meaningless right now. Oh, this is such an Eggman boss. Oh! Damn, doesn't give you a lot of time to get away. <laughs> there, just damage booster wait through and it works. Alright, stage four. This one's an auto scroller. Kinda. Power up. Too bad you can't just use like extra potions as reserve health if you're already full. Uh, duck around time. You in the mid boss? Yep, certainly looks like it. I keep missing my mark. Oh, my goodness. Damn it! Couldn't get a single hit! Now I do. Screw that noise. Alright, almost got the one up filled. I should have it. Oh, what a bad time to get hit. It's right there. Oh, boss time already? Defeated instantly? Damn. Oh, I think that water just went up. Hey, what if it was like Toxic Tower, but with water? Look, look. Drink the Capri Sun. It'll sustain you. Somehow. I bet this uh, game actually didn't come out around in the 90s. 
Are you kidding me? That blew up. Okay, there we go. I think you were supposed to jump off the enemies and grab it. I like when she just floats up, it's like, hey, I'm back, I'm not actually dead, I was faking it. Pick my spot carefully. When you've already taken damage and you walk, it's like you're concussed. Ooh, penguin robot! Oh, it's a big chunk. Alright, if there's a chance to defeat this boss, it's now. Better surrender. Oh, another boss? Somehow I did not snap my ankles. Okay, I just gotta make sure I'm not near the bomb when it blows up. There we go. Oh, this must be the final boss. Oh, that's a big meaty explosion. Literally, you're supposed to bounce on the glove. Or throw a bomb at it. You have to bounce on the glove. You have to make sure you guess correctly. You can look at the arm to see. Just hope you have enough time. Oh, I guess wrong. Did not connect? Alright, finished. Round clear. Thus, the world of Aquario disappeared into the ocean ellipsis. Dr. Hangyo's am ambitions were shattered. Nice sunset. <laughs> so there you go, that's it. That's Clockwork Aquario. The Nintendo Switch port. It's on other systems as well. I don't know if it's on Steam or anything. But you can get it for around... A little over $10. Like, maybe under $15. Like, maybe for... Considering it's a game that's pretty short and get it done in, like, 20 minutes. At least it has different modes to try. So there's that. You might get some value out of it. Again, it's too bad it didn't actually get released when it was being worked on initially. It might have made a bit of money, so to speak. 
I guess Westone had other projects they had to work on at the time. But uh, this one's pretty good for what it is. And hey, you can probably play it again as the other characters, too. Oh, name entry. Well, they don't give you a lot of time to enter your name, though. As per tradition. Ass on top. Alright, close game. Okay, so it allows you to check and modify various arcade board settings the game offers. You have to press R to insert coins, and her service mode is L. Alright, let's take a look at the options. That you cannot see here. I guess you have to open the game here? Okay, you just see all that. You can test your memory. Let's take a look at the dip switch settings. Well, I hope everything is good. I hope I see 69 says nice. Aww. That would have been epic. Alright, dip switch. Ascendments? That's not how you spell that. Let's see. Two ones like credit start, advertise sound, number of players, game difficulty, attack button to start. You do your CRT test, your sound test, input testing, bookkeeping. Exit that. You press L to go back here. <coughs> what is bonus stage? Unlocks after level three and has been completed once in a uh, unlocks after level three is completed once in any difficulty. This minute game usually only appears in the two player mode between stage three and four. It cannot be played alone and requires another person to control player two. Oh man. So I guess you need two players even when you select it. Right there. Well, that sucks. Well, let's take a look at the gallery. That was an early non-animated version of the title screen. Hmm. I think that one looked pretty good. Can I remember which one I beat? Was it the one on the left? Because I honestly don't remember. Yeah, these actually do look pretty good. Wow, this started... Like, this was a concept that started around 1991. That must be the bonus stage right there, as it says. Yeah, I do not own a physical copy. I got it on the eShop. That's a great name, Steve Snake. Wait. I could be wrong, but wasn't Steve Snake the guy that was the Kega Fusion guy? Dear player, when I first started working on this game, nobody knew how much of it would even be possible to get it running again. I was determined that if it were possible, I was going to make it happen. What followed was a long, laborious task of hand deciphering binary files produced by many different long lost applications writing many new tools to deal with them, and piecing back together what still remained of the game. Unfortunately, it soon became clear that there were indeed missing parts, mainly graphics, and in particular, all files relating to the sound were completely absent. Fortunately, the sound had been recorded for a soundtrack released long ago, so I was able to utilize those recordings in the game. The missing graphics, graphics were eventually recreated in the original style, Watching the game slowly come back to life was an incredible, rewarding experience. The feeling that I was looking at something only a handful of people had ever seen is something that's hard to explain. I'm therefore delighted that the whole world now gets to see this previously long-lost gem, Steve Snake. Okay, that's actually some neat art. You can take a look at the soundtrack there, as well as the credits. 
basically these the credits of the original game apply and you see all this okay so there you go i think that's pretty much all we need to see in this hard mode is just like uh the same thing but only three credits i'm not gonna bother with that because i don't think you unlock anything special for beating it on hard mode well, in any case, this is the Bonga signing off saying goodbye, Godspeed, and stay tuned for my next Let's Play. Thanks for watching, everybody, and I shall see you next time.